I thought we came out and had a, a strong first period and played to our level and, and uh, you know, did a lot of small things. E even coming back with a, a one goal lead, we, we had done enough things to probably secure ourselves two or three more goals. So I like the way we played uh, without the puck too. We were on top of them. They didn't get much in the first. Uh, I didn't like our second as much. I thought in, in our second we became a little bit more, uh, a little too fancy, but found a way to regroup. Even though we scored those uh, three goals in, in the second, we our game wasn't as tight as the first and came back with a decent third period. You know, we're getting down the, the, the home stretch here and, and we have to get ready uh, for playoffs and stick together and play hard together and play whistle to whistle, but at the same time, we've got to stand up for each other. There's been a lot of... Uh, a lot of plays that are questionable and it's important for us to uh, stand tall and stick together and have each other's backs and um, I think we do that for the most part. I, I know that our guys care uh, for each other and sometimes that's going to show in, in uh, some extra plays on the ice and uh, you know what, uh, that's part of the game. we got to stick together and, and, and play hard. Uh, it was a great game. Uh, we played almost all 60 minutes. The second period wasn't that great. but. You know, third we got back on our track, and yeah, I mean, it was a big difference. The city is pretty great. It was because I grew up in a large city, so it's kind of a relief for me. Yeah, I like Moncton. Uh, the people are a little bit different, but I'm getting used to it. Nice. I'm from uh, Czech, Czech Republic, uh, Ostrava, and um, yeah, it's a small country. Yeah, I played in the club Vitkovice. Uh, I played there for, I don't know how, how many years, since I was five. And uh, yeah, we had a pretty good team. Uh, my, mam, uh, my mom was a little bit scared, but my dad was so happy for me. So yeah, I appreciate it. I got a big support from them. The first two months were pretty, pretty hard for me. I mean, the smaller ring, the players are much better, so the game is more physical, more faster. But I got uh, I got used to it and I feel pretty comfortable right now. Well, we got to manage, we really have to manage our minutes and, and our practice time and, and kind of take advantage of the days that we can to get some rest to our guys. So this is a time of year that you got to get, you know, give the proper rest, but you can't take your foot off the gas. So you still have to practice hard to be ready because the games that are coming up are, are hard games and you also have to include that in your practices so it's a balance. Uh, we consult uh, Graham every day to see to get the pulse of the team, talk to the to the leaders and to the coaching staff and try to make the best decisions and have informed decision but uh, ultimately we we know we've got a big weekend coming up we will have a good practice on Friday to get ready. Well, we need a strong leadership group to to lead the way when when uh, you get to the home stretch, how to play, how to get the uh, the team to play with uh, winning habits, and it's really not an easy thing, game in game out. Like to, to stay focused for for the whole season, uh, you know, it's something that every team aspire to, and uh, it goes from you know from the coaching staff to your leadership group and we're we're relying on these guys to do the right thing and to inform and to help uh, the young guys get through it.